you're a non-resident and someone told you that you needed to open an LLC to grow your business. Well, what is an LLC and how do you open an LLC? What is this? I'm going to tell you in this video. And in fact, the first LLC was created in Wyoming in 1977, but it wasn't really until about 1993 when the Delaware Limited Liability Company Act was passed to when the IRS acknowledged the LLC as a disregarded entity. So it's only been 30 years that the LLC has really been super popular. While Wyoming did create the first one, it was Delaware that popularized them. And those still remain the two most popular states that we use to open LLCs, especially for our non-resident clients. And the LLC is great because it has less requirements of corporate actions and corporate minutes and issuing shares. There's less stuff you have to do to maintain a legal LLC than you have to do with a corporation. It has better liability protection and it has passed through taxation. So that means for you foreign people, you my, my friends who live outside the country and don't do business in the US, you don't have to pay US income taxes. But back to the question, how do you open a US LLC? Well, I'm gonna tell you in kind of four things you need to know when opening an LLC, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is pick the state that you're gonna open the LLC in. Most clients are choosing Wyoming or Delaware or Florida. And while I have many videos on how to choose what state to use, if you're just doing online business and you are have no presence in the United States, Wyoming's great. It's cheap, it's quick, it's easy. I love it. We have an office there and we open our clients' companies in Wyoming really quickly and we are the registered agent. It's completely private. There's a nominee service. No one can see who the owner is. It's a great option. If you have family in Florida and you want to save even more money, you just pay $125, you register the company in Florida, and you use your family member's address to be the registered agent. That's the thing with these, these states. You always need to have an address in the state to serve as the registered agent, and that's why there are probably 10,000 different companies you can pay to open the LLC. After number one, you determine the state and where you want to organize your company. Number two, you need to pick which company you want to work with to open the LLC. You want a reputable company that's not going to sell your data and that's not going to mess up what they're doing. And there literally are 10,000 companies out there that will do this for you. I'm one of them. We do it too. The thing is, it's not very complicated. If you have an address in the state, you could probably go on the website and register the LLC yourself. There are a lot of companies that'll do it for $50, for $100, and they basically make money by acting as the registered agent, by letting you use their address as a registered agent. In some states like Wyoming, we had to register uh, to become registered agent. So I have a company that's registered as a registered agent in Wyoming that allows me to be that agent. You have to determine a reputable company. There's a lot of them. LegalZoom, Inc. File, whatever, Zen Business, people use Jumpstart Filings. If you Google search it, there's literally 10,000 companies that'll do it for you. It's not a very high value add service, but you also don't want to give your email and your basic information to a company that's going to sell your data. And you also want to work with someone that can help you get the EIN number. As a foreign person, it's not easy to get an EIN number. And I just made a video about it, how to get an EIN number for free quickly yourself. And I'm going to link that up here. And at the end, I'll link that because that's the next step. After you open the LLC, you need to get the EIN number. And even if you work with a company, you're going to need to participate to get the EIN number as fast as possible. And this number allows you to actually open bank accounts and actually use the LLC that you just opened. Because these LLCs are great. Honestly, you won't pay taxes. You can open bank accounts, payment processors. It'll really help you close more US clients and just grow your business. It's, they're super helpful. So after you, one, determine the state, and number two, pick the company that you're gonna work with. In general, you can do it yourself, but you need a registered agent. So you're probably gonna have to work with a company. There's cheaper ones, there's more expensive ones that offer more services. A lot of the stuff you can do yourself if you're on here and you determine to do it yourself, do it yourself. But you also have to pick the, determine the value of your time because you are gonna spend some time doing this and figuring this out. I appreciate you being here watching the video. Like it, thank you, you're the best. After you pick the company, then you fill out the information and register in the state. Most states only take a couple of days. Delaware has been taking up to like a couple of weeks. I just filed a company in Texas. It took like 20 days. Wyoming's always been quick. It's a couple of days. Florida has been really quick. It's a couple of days. Uh, it depends where you register. Some states take longer. It's administrative. And there's expedited fees you can pay to get it done quicker, but it is what it is. Once you get those articles, then you have to apply for the EIN number. The last step that I want to tell you is understanding your compliance. So because I'm a CPA, I'm a tax guy, I want to talk to you quickly about the compliance. After you open an LLC, there are some things you need to do. 
If you're watching this video in 2024, you are going to need to comply with the Corporate Transparency Act and probably register your LLC on FinCEN. And that is the Financial Crimes Network. It's really just an informational filing to disclose who the beneficial owner of the LLC is. It's basically you're going to have to give them, uh, tell them who the owner is. On the 15th of March or the 15th of April, you have to complete your IRS tax forms, uh, depending on how you operate the company and how you have it set up, whether it is a single member or a multi-member LLC, multi-member has more than one owners, or you make a corporate tax election, your filing is going to be on March 15th or April 15th. I have other videos about that. Subscribe to the channel. I talk about that a lot. That's what I do primarily is I provide tax advice for my clients. And the third thing is they have this BEA filing. If you do the BEA 13, it's an exemption from the BEA form. So I would consider filing that. It's a quick filing. We do it for our clients. Many clients don't file it. But I would recommend you consider it and just like get that done with once so you don't have to file every year. So that's it. That's how you open an LLC. To be honest, it's very, very straightforward. But I, I feel good making this video because now you know that you need to determine which state you want to go to, which is a million. There's a million videos about that. But really, if you have family in a state, it's fine. You're not going to pay taxes in any of the states. And I like Wyoming the most. Delaware is a good state, too. They're both the most private states. They don't share who the ownership is online. So you determine your state. Pick what company you want to use as your registered agent. There's a lot, like I said, there's 10,000 companies that do this. Number three is actually do the registration. Number four is understand your compliance. And if you need help doing any of this, of course, we can do it for you. And if you're doing this yourself, I really encourage you to check this video right here about getting the EIN number. Because what most of these companies are going to do is just mail in the SS4 and you're going to wait three weeks, four weeks to do that, to get that number. And the truth is, if you call the IRS exactly what I would show you to do in this video, then you can get the EIN much, much faster. And many of these companies don't do it right. So I encourage you to do that. So check out this video and I hope this was a helpful video for you. I'll see you in the next one.